Today, we will explore how to turn Flux1 generated images into videos using the best free methods available. So let's get started. First, I will use Glyph to generate a set of images using Flux Pro, as Glyph offers Flux Pro for free. So open this page from the link in the description. I created this workflow combining Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Flux Pro. You just need to enter your idea or prompt into this box and click on Run Glyph. The workflow will then take your prompt, process it through Claude 3.5 to enhance the richness, color, and contrast, then generate the final image with Flux Pro. Cool, isn't it? I will share the link to this workflow in the description so that you don't have to make it yourself. If you are interested in knowing how I created it, you can watch the video, which I will also link in the description. After the first image, I created a scene with soldiers on horses, then a 3D animation style scene, followed by a man walking on a city street after dusk, and lastly, an image with text to see how video generators handle text elements. So, let's test the video generators with these five images. First up is Runway ML. I used the recently released Gen 3 Alpha Turbo version, which is available for free users. Here are the results. The women look incredibly realistic, with smooth cinematic movements and expressions. It turned out really good and in pretty high resolution. The soldiers on horseback are also impressive, especially with the realistic galloping movements. But if you look closely, one of the horse is moving backwards, which is possible but still looks a bit odd. The animation scene is also well done, but the funny part is the guy suddenly gets a bike out of nowhere. The city street after dusk is excellent. Notice how realistic his shadow looks as it moves with him, but when he gets close enough, his face looks unrealistic. And the text element is well executed, adding a nice dynamic touch. Overall, Runway is really impressive and definitely one of the best out there. Next, let's dive into Luma Lab's Dream Machine, starting with a scene featuring women in a social setting. While the resolution isn't the highest, Luma's focusing on the subject with a cinematic approach is really good. Compared to Runway, it's nearly the same or even better if you appreciate the camera angles Luma uses. Overall, it's pretty impressive. Now let's move on to the next one. The soldiers on horseback have been transformed into an action-packed battle scene. As for the animation scene, Luma understood the image better than Runway and generated the running action though the feats are somewhat morphed. The city street scene is definitely better than Runway's version. Dream Machine's use of the camera to follow the subject walking down the road is impressive and feels incredibly realistic. While you can control the camera movement with prompts, I didn't use any prompt in Dream Machine or in Runway because I wanted to see if the video generators could grasp the physics of the images and create a video on its own. Next up is the text element, and surprisingly, Luma's Dream Machine generated the video almost exactly like Runway did. And all of the generations were one-shot attempts in both Dream Machine and Runway. As for the cost, both video generators offer free credits, but if you choose to upgrade, Luma gives 70 generations each lasting 5 seconds for $8 a month, while Runway's Gen 3 Alpha Turbo costs $12 a month for 25 videos, using 25 credits per 5-second video. So Luma Lab's Dream Machine clearly offers better value with the lower-level pricing plans. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video.